All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So, today we're going to be talking about Drake. Party Next Door album is about to drop. And I don't think nobody really cares. So, we're going to get into that. Before I get into that, you know, I got to get in my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies who want in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, uh, links is on the screen. Cash app, PayPal's in the description also. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. Let me make sure this is straight. Uh, all right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, man, and uh, let me know where you're from, too. I'm trying to reach a million subscribers by Monday morning, man. So, look, we're going to get right into this, man, and we'll be back to discuss. All right, this comes courtesy of Fantastic Hip Hop. You know what it is. We're going to get into this. All right, man, let's go. <laughs> You know what I mean? Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> now, as it's getting colder outside, we have been getting closer to one of the next major moments in the hip hop world as following the beef and the all time whooping we saw Drake get from Kendrick Lamar. We are finally on the verge of getting a full length album from one of the participants in this genre altering moment in rap music. And while we are still waiting for what Kendrick Lamar has coming, Drake's made it clear that despite him still never giving everyone those summer vibes that he promised after he got humiliated by Kendrick, and despite being the absolute biggest joke in hip Yeah, whatever happened to that? Whatever happened to that? What happened to the summer vibes? Like, he's saying the summer vibes coming. Whatever happened to that? You know what I'm saying? He had the, he had the samurai going against the, the whole army. Whatever happened to that? I don't know, man. It just seems to me like Drake doesn't have what it takes anymore. I just feel like I just feel like he just has this thing where he thinks that that his fans, his core fans, is gonna have his back. But I think a lot of his core fans, they like him, and you got a lot of people who 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 you know they they'll fight to the death for him. But then you got a lot of his core fans who are starting to really realize that maybe he just ain't as good as they thought he was. You know what I'm saying? Pop for almost this entire whole year. That he is still going to try to even the score and change the narrative of what's going on this year with an album of his own. And now after being kicked around the way he has, Drake's made it clear that he's not going to be standing on his own with a solo album but that he is going to be representing his homeland of Canada once again after neglecting it for so long, as he is tapping right back in with his roots and his fellow OVO signee and R&B singer Party Next Door for an entire collab album. And while Drake announced this album back in the summer, and we know that from the way rappers in general, and Drake also over the years have hinted at giving us collab albums that never come to fruition, this could have just been another empty promise that would never actually happen. From what we- I mean- I'm not really a big party next door fan. I don't see what people see in a dude. I really don't. But him and Drake linking up, I don't know what type of project this is gonna be. But I could tell you right now, after I heard Tyler's album, after I heard uh Schoolboy Q, after I heard Absol, Dochi, uh the uh the ransom project with with Conway and all these. After I heard these projects, I don't know what Drake's gonna do that's gonna top any of those. I really don't. I just don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see how he could top any of those. I just don't get it. But I mean, we'll see. We'll see seen in recent weeks this is not the case at all and this album is real and it is seemingly going to be dropping within the following weeks as beyond party next door's own comments about the record which have been trying to just create an ounce of hype for new drake music at this moment in time drake announced to the world that the album is coming soon on a post party next door made where he alluded to the fact that after dropping a solo album this year that he is preparing to do something else before 2024 ends 
And Drake chimed in on this post saying, it's that time, which is showing us that after over a year of not getting a new Drake album, which is a lot of time considering how frequently he releases, and after the biggest beef in hip hop pretty much ever went down, which he was obviously a part of, Drake is now telling people that the next chapter in his musical career is about to come. And now the reaction to this? Saw people acting like this. Now I will say this, I will say this. I think when Drake drops this album, this is a make or break moment for him. I think that people are looking for him to drop something so magnificent, so crazy that it's going to put him back on top. I just don't see how he can climb that back up that, that ladder because it's when he, he been dropping music, but after a certain point, the bar has been raised to a certain height that even it's hard for him to reach it. So I just don't see, honestly, I just don't see him dropping something that is going to be super good to the point where everybody's like, yo, I think people going to like it maybe the first week. Then after that, it's going to be gone. I'm telling you now, mark my words. And I mean, after Drake laid out these comments in an era where if any rapper alludes to a project, people just go absolutely crazy. And people start predicting and hyping up what this new record may sound like, who may be featured, and what type of impact it will end up having. Instead of seeing this same type of hype that we always do for big time records in this era, everyone in and around hip hop seemed to turn their backs and reject the very prospect of this album in its entirety as they just went on with their lives. And now, while this is shocking in a way, because after all, regardless of the outcome of the beef, Drake is still a massive name in music whose back catalog is still making him one of the most streamed artists alive. When we look into everything beyond the perception of Drake and the value his older work holds, if we dive into the actual numbers, despite what his fans may try to tell you, Drake's career, even all these months after everything went down, is in the gutter. As we have now seen solid and standing proof that the Kendrick beef really did hurt him in ways that he will never come back from no matter what. Now, I, I think that a lot of people are just afraid to say that Kendrick actually put a toll I'm talking a, a big, big, big damage. He hit Drake with such a comment from another planet that I'm just thinking that Drake at this point is very difficult for him to even drop a song and it gets streams to where we thought that Drake was automatically. That's how you, that's how you know that a lot of people who follow Drake even his core fans don't really care for his music like that no more because he has, he's super popular and he's and his core fans was still there. Right. And everybody likes him. Right. That's what everybody say. But what happened? What happened? How come, you know what I'm saying? How come he, he, he's not doing as well as he was doing when he dropped all these songs. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But Leave it up to the fans and, and his core fans and all the people. They'll say that he's unbothered. They'll say that, that Kendrick ain't do nothing. That's what they'll say. But let's keep it going. Because just to put things in perspective, after Drake was a mainstay on the Billboard Hot 100, always having a hit song on the charts, and really having a brand so powerful that no matter what he released, the song was almost a lock for not just any part of the charts, but at least the top 10. Now at this point, for the first time in years, he has no music occupying any corner of the charts for months, which for an artist that thrives on being a hit maker and winning over the masses, the fact that Drake is not on the charts for this long is devastating to his reputation. And this isn't just- But you know what I think too? I think that he actually likes the fact that he's not on the charts. So this way, when he does come back and he, and he becomes, uh, number one, or if he be, or if he jumps to the top ten or wherever he goes, he can use that as like as as a uh, as a uh, a weapon against everybody and say, see, I I could take a, I could take a break and come back and I'll be right back on top. Because what it is is he's waiting for not like us to to flow fall off the charts, and then when he drops whatever he drops, then he could say, see. 
know what I'm saying? That's what that's what he's trying to do. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. That's what Drake. To me, that's what Drake's trying to do. He wants to be able to come back and be on the charts. And then it seems like he don't have no competition. But I also think that Kendrick is waiting for him to drop. Now I'm not saying Kendrick's gonna drop the same day he drops, but I think Kendrick is waiting for them for for Drake to drop, and then he's gonna just like step on and step on his work. Well. We'll see. We'll see with that. We'll see with that. But I think I think there's something going on. There's something it's because going on. he has not put out any music in a while because that's not the case. But it's because the songs he has released have not had any staying power as every song he dropped besides one has failed to crack the top 50 on the charts. And almost all these new records were off the Hot 100 after their first week of tracking because the only reason people even listened to them in the first place was to see how Drake was going to be following up such a massive and career altering moment in his beef with Kendrick Lamar. And as we all of course ended up seeing. These songs were just not good whatsoever. And now if we dig into Drake's post-beef performance further, his most successful song was his collab with Sexy Red, You My Everything, which ended up having a little bit of longevity, mainly because the song gained traction on TikTok due to Sexy Red's part. And just to add a little more context to the fact that this track really cemented that the Drake feature is absolutely worthless right now. The only That's true too. That's true too. That's another reason why I'm saying that I don't know what's going to happen with this Party Next Door album because if Drake's features are not hitting like they used to, what they call it, the Drake stimulus package, and on top of that, he hasn't really done anything. Well, we don't know if these some of them songs are actually new. You know what I'm saying? But he hasn't done anything with anybody yet. And it, I think that's another reason why he's he kind of like declining because... He hasn't done no music with nobody. And I'm I'm guessing maybe because he's working on this album with Party Next Door. I guess that's what it is. But I mean, for the most part, he hasn't he hasn't done anything. And it just to me, it just seems like it ain't it just ain't hitting like it was. You know what I'm saying? Like he like he was. Like all them songs he, he released, a lot of people don't really feel them joints like that. Because they came and went. They came and went reason this song was able to climb up to 44 on the charts which really for drake's standards is pathetic because in the past regardless of the quality of a song drake's name alone could take a track to the top 10 was because of sexy red's part as while drake has fell further and further down the charts this year she has proved more than just having a catchy part that went viral that she was the full-on reason why this song did anything in the first place because as almost every new drake song since the release of this track has flopped and we saw him most recently reach the peak of his failure after he sunk millions of dollars into doing a song and cinematic video where he literally switched languages to reach a wider audience than ever with his collab with latin artist chino pacas which was so pathetic because the song didn't even chart and somehow despite a complete rebrand the song just made no noise and meanwhile with someone like sexy red she's about to score the first top 10 of her career on the billboard hot 100 which keep in mind is something she was never able to do with drake with her team up on tyler the creator's new that's crazy i didn't know that i didn't know that uh that song i thought that that song probably would have went to the top 10 uh the uh I don't know, what was it called? Rich Baby Dad? Yeah, I think that's what it was called. That song was trash. That song was so trash. Oh, my God. And I'm just thinking about it. I said, ooh, baby, hey, I love you. That song was trash. So trash. Album Chromacopia with the cut Sticky. And she has another massive hit climbing the charts right now with Glorilla in the track What You Know About Me. So overall, all of this just indicates to us that the rap world is moving on from Drake. And while people have not stopped streaming his classic albums and massive run of hits, when you look at the performance of all of these new songs, this is not a fluke. This is the new norm. Nobody is interested in hearing anything new from him because for all intensive purposes, Drake's run is and has been over since Kendrick Lamar released Not Like Us. And at this point, Kendrick Lamar's lyrics for Meet the Grams where he says, why believe you, you never gave us nothing to believe in, some up best about how people feel about Drake because really with the point where the culture is at and with the run of music Drake has given us which really has been one of the worst we have ever seen that's one thing that people got to understand meet the grams lyrics is is those lyrics that they're they're so deadly and they're so uh they age in so well right now because everything that he's been saying is coming true 
everything he's been saying. Everything he's been saying is coming true. And it's it's so crazy to see how Kendrick just predicted all this. And when I, I'm I'm thinking like Kendrick really studied Drake. He really did. And when he said, when he said, um, like, I know you, like he really studied Drake. And it's it's so crazy to see this go down like this. It's crazy. Seen from a rapper of his level as between the 100 gigs drops to all of the features Drake has been a part of, he has given us an album's worth of material and nothing of it has been good or even just the slightest bit memorable. And in a rap world where there are new MCs who are making bangers and music that is refreshing and fun and on the other side of the genre, people are healing from the Drake era of half-baked, cloud-chasing, disposable music and are now experiencing what actual boundary pushing and moving hip hop looks like. Overall, the need for what Drake is doing, especially in this time where he is at the worst level he has ever been at is just nearly non-existent compared to where the hype around him used to be. So with this new Drake album, his career is fading away from rap's future, and we have never seen more proof than this than with the fact that no one cares about this new album coming, and as it gets closer to dropping, this is all really gonna get worse, because Drake coming back outside after he lost the biggest rap beef of the 21st century, and maybe of all time, and on top of this run where he has been releasing some of the worst music he ever has, and then ultimately making this grand comeback by giving us an R&B album, all in all is only gonna make- And that's another thing too. I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. So he coming back with an R&B album. There has to be some like this album has to be something special. And I'm telling you right now from from the stuff I heard. I mean, people going to run to listen to it and it's going to probably sell. It's probably going to sell about maybe 250, probably a little more. People going to run to it because they're going to want to hear to see if he if he took a shot at Kendrick. They're going to want to hear it. Trust me. But there's no single, and that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of these albums nowadays, these dudes, I don't know why they don't roll out no singles. Maybe maybe No Face is the first single on that album. Maybe it is. I don't know. But <clears throat> there's there's no single. So where's the single at? I, I just don't get it. I don't get it all of the sentiments about him being a pathetic and sore loser and someone who was kicked out of the rap world hit all the harder and make Kendrick Lamar's win seem like a bigger and bigger thing than ever, which just makes this entire upcoming era from Drake seem like a ridiculous career move and over everything makes you wonder where his decision making on all levels has gone. But after all, it really shouldn't be a surprise that Drake's crash out is leading all the way here to a point where he is going to be making an album that is forever going to destroy his reputation as a rapper and even despite him departing from the genre. Based on this abysmal track record from the past few months this album is on pace to end up becoming the worst he has ever dropped and i'm sure with the lack of momentum drake has and how his career at this point is just a sinking ship and he is just becoming a more pathetic and bitter person who's only ever making headlines for doing pathetic and bitter things like trying to intimidate someone like demar derozan during the middle of an nba game yeah i don't i don't know uh i i think flopping for drake is about anything less than 250 I think that's what that's what we would consider a flop for him but I don't know you know what I'm saying but we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see I just think that I mean I think that that the problem with the problem that Drake is going to run into is the fact that people want to hear him come back it's like a lot of people want to see if he's going to come back and 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 win against Kendrick there's a lot of people still in battle mode when it comes to them. And they got to realize that the battle's over. It's over. It's totally over. Overall, all of this is putting Drake on a crash course where things are going to get a lot worse for him when this album comes around. And now speaking of this crash out on Drake's end, while this is a bold prediction, I'm going to say that this album is going to end up having the lowest first week sales Drake has ever had on top of all of this, just because of how low the hype meter is. And it's really going to be a telling moment where we see just how many other rappers have been able to outperform Drake in the sales department this year. And this will just bring everything full circle. So when it comes to this downfall of Drake, beyond all the one-off singles and features that have flopped and people have tried to turn their eyes to, if Drake releases an entire album that does all-time low numbers and maybe even is considered a flop, there is nowhere else left for Drake to go. It will really be the end of I mean, somebody got to tell, tell his bull, somebody got to tell his bull that if he flops, 
Drake might have to go back to his roots and where he came from. And that's uh, back to the backpacking. Because I think a lot of people are just tired of Drake's sound. And some people like Drake, but I think a lot of people are just tired of his sound. They just don't want to hear from him no more. And and I know this has a lot to do with, with, with not like us, but I also just believe that nobody really cares anymore. Nobody really cares about, about Drake's sound no more. Nobody cares. It's just, it's, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody cares. But let's finish this off. His run. So now, all in all, at this point, as Drake has his back against the wall and we await what is all the makings to be his most disastrous record, unless we see something unexpected happen or come to fruition, there is really nothing left to do than see if it will be the final decay of whatever is left of Drake's career and legacy. And so now, with all that said, let me know. What do you think about this new Drake album? Yeah. Make sure y'all go fan, follow Fantastic Hip Hop. Yeah, man. I'm telling y'all right now. The album come out, if it does anything less than 250, they're going to say it's a flop. Because for Drake, he got to at least do 4K, somewhere around there, maybe 350. But I don't see no hype around this album. So I don't think that it's going to be as big as, I don't know. I think I don't know. I don't I don't know what his what his thoughts is. I don't know if he if he's trying to put out something or trying to put out a single. I don't know if if, if the record label is telling him not to put out a single yet. I don't know. But there's no hype. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't dro dropped nothing from from this album unless he drops something that we don't know from the album. And it's just there. But he hasn't done nothing. And and on top of that, he's he's in the news with all these different shenanigans. He's in, he's not in the news because of the music he's doing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know where he's going to go with it, but I don't know. And I don't, I don't see, honestly, I really don't care. I don't think I'm going to go jump to here anyway, because I'm not a really big party fan anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to really run out to go listen to it. So whatever it is, what it is, but y'all have yourself a good night. See y'all in the morning. You know what I'm saying? And all that good stuff, man. I'm out of here. You know what it is. Torture talk. Yeah. <laughs>